Budget bushcraft knives. Let's talk about it. Tonight's knife that we're gonna talk about is the Mora Companion Spark. This is a knife that probably should be in everyone's kit just for the value. So tonight what we're gonna do is showcase this blade. I'm gonna to prove to you why you need one of these knives in your kit. But first, what we're gonna do is cut away. I'll do a quick specs rundown. Then we'll take it over on the stump top. I'll do some testing with it. And as always, we'll bring it right back here and we'll talk about it. Folks, we're talking about budget value bushcraft blades. The video starts now. I'm really impressed with the Spark. It's hard not to. I mean, Mora has been doing this for a very long time and they're just beautiful knives. You have a clip point design. It's made out of uh, Sandvik 12C27. That's a stainless steel. And you're probably asking yourself, what kind of stainless steel is that, John? Well, this is an all around good blade material that is uh, easily able to sharpen it and then you can strop it and then it holds a decent edge and here's the big selling point is that it's corrosion resistant so if you like to go out in the woods you're going to be out there in a wet environment well you're going to need something that's going to be able to resist corrosion and the uh, 12c27 does a great job with that. Now, they have a rubberized handle. They're using what's known as a TPE rubber. I've seen that used back in the old uh, days when I used to do a lot of Schrade reviews. That is a very good material. It holds up really well. And then what they do in here in the companion, they put a fire steel in there. I can't say enough good things about this. This knife excelled in every test that I put it through. And it was just razor sharp. That Scandi grind, you could shave the hair on a gnat. We'll just leave it at that. But it worked really fine, cutting the rubber hose, cutting the uh, towing strap, cutting the leather, doing the feather stick and all. I do all that stuff so you guys can have an idea of one, the edge geometry, how well it's going to work in its intended use, and how well it's going to hold up in different types of tasks. I don't know what you're going to use your blade for when you get out there in the field. And you may be in an emergency situation that requires you to do something that you've never done before, and you need to know if a blade is going to hold up. This, I can't say enough good things about it. The spark held up to every test that I put it through. It threw sparks like crazy. That 90 degree spine is just amazing. And 
just the ergos on this blade. It's eight and three quarter inches long. You have a cutting edge of four inches long. That's perfect for bushcrafting. A lot of folks out there are thinking that you need these big six, seven, eight inch blades. Let me tell you what, if you watched the early dual survival shows, you had Cody Lundin, what did he carry? He carried a Mora out there and he was able to do everything and anything that he wanted to do. He thrived out in the woods with a Mora and that just says a lot about his skill set and his ability with a blade. The weight on this is only 3.3 ounces and with the sheath we're talking 4.4 ounces so it's easy to carry and it just is no reason why anybody shouldn't have this in your pack or in your kit. You're probably wondering what I'm thinking about this blade like I wasn't leading you right? I love this blade and for around $30 on a lot of different websites it's not going to break the bank so if you have a kid in scouts if you have a kid that's learning bushcraft if you're on a tight budget and you're learning bushcraft yourself if you're running skills clinics these are affordable everybody can own one of these and it's a great value blade and then once you get your skill set up if you want to graduate into something else you're gonna have those skills and be able to move forward with that. If you wanna learn more about this blade, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Folks, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Now get out and use your gear, folks.